The New York Public Library has many databases on its website. Because the website is so extensive, it is sometimes difficult to find the database you are looking for, and then once you've found the database, the data is not fully usable. What I would like to do today is explain how to find the database you are looking for easily, and then once you have found the database, show you how to find a supplemental resource that will help you use the data you have found. To begin, let's go to Google. I'm trying to find out more information about one of the towns where I come from in Poland. At the Google search box, type in Jewish genealogy. The first search result that comes up is Jewish Gen, the home of Jewish genealogy. Jewish Gen is an invaluable research tool for people who are doing research on their family. The Jewish Gen website is free to use, but if you plan on doing any extensive research on your family's genealogy, it's a good idea to register on the website because some of the databases available require registration to access the information. Uh, it is free to register, and if you can, also please donate because the website is dependent upon donations and volunteer efforts. Luckily, the information that we're looking for today does not require registration. The data is not behind the registration wall. So in the town search box, type in the name of the town that we're looking for. And my town is called Sierps, S-I-E-R-P-C. I'm just going to press search. This brings us to the Jewish Gen Communities database, which is a list of results when we searched for Sierps. I know, luckily, that the town is in Poland. So these options here that are in Russia and Germany and Romania, I know aren't my town. But I see here there's one town that's in Poland. And this looks like it's my town. So I can click on the purple square for more information. And this brings us to the town page for Sheps, Poland. Jewish Gen has created a fabulous resource, a centralized page that compiles all the information available about the town in one place. There's the name of the town, which is highlighted, and then critical to research, alternate names, variations of how the town was, name was spelled, depending on who was in power at that time. Many towns in this region went from being Polish to Russian to German. Additionally, the towns were often known by their Yiddish names, so all of the variations of names are listed here. Also very helpful is a map of where the town is located, as well as a list of nearby Jewish communities, essential when doing genealogical research. What we're interested in here today is the Yisker books. If you're lucky, there will be a white box next to one of the Yisker book links. This is a direct link to the New York Public Library Yisker book database for this specific town. So clicking on this white box gets us into the New York Public Library and you'll notice here <clears throat> that it says Sherps, but it's not spelled the same way that we just saw it. But we know that this is the correct book because uh, we got to the link from Jewish Gen and it's essentially the same phonetically. So this is the Yisker book, and this is a wonderful thing. What the New York Public Library has done is they've digitized all of the books that are in their holdings so that you don't have to go to the library to look at the book. And you can page through page by page. But as you can see, as I scroll through the book, the pages are all in Hebrew, which is very common for Yisker books. For Jewish genealogy such as myself, who doesn't know Hebrew, however, this is a big problem. Also, even if I did know Hebrew, many of the books are printed in block Hebrew, which is even more challenging to read. So when I first approached this database, I was very excited to see I had information, but I was also quite frustrated by the fact that the information was not readable for me as an English speaker and reader. Um, I decided to learn more about the database to see if I could find a solution for this and I clicked on About Yisker Books. And on this page, I clicked on About Holocaust Memorial page Books. This brought me to a really helpful page. 
This book explained what Yitzker books are, books typically written in the late 1950s, 1960s, and early 1970s to commemorate communities and people who had not survived World War II. I was able to see here, down here, that the problem I was having was not unique, that the Yisker books are not available in English, and that there might be a solution. This paragraph talks about how there's a volunteer effort to solve the problem. Clicking on this link here for Jewish Gen brings us to the supplemental resource I was talking about that's very helpful when dealing with the New York Public Library Yisker book database. This is the Jewish Gen Yisker book project. The Jewish Gen Yisker Book Project is a volunteer effort to translate Yisker books into English. That's exactly what we need. It solves the problem of the New York Public Library database. So if you click on Read Translations and then do a find for your town name, and then click on Sheps, Poland, this opens up the page that's the translation of the Yisker book. And as you can see here, as we scroll down, this is the exact same image that we just saw in the New York Public Library database. Many of the Yisker books are only partially translated. Some are almost all fully translated, depending on the volunteer effort. Um, but as you can see, this one only has one link. This book has the necrology, which is a listing of the dead. If you click on this, I can see a list that's arranged by Hebrew letters, by the alphabet in Hebrew. And if I click on D for Dalit, I can see here, happily, quite a few people who are common ancestors in my family tree. This translation is even more helpful because it gives the mother's maiden name oftentimes, if they were married, children, relationships, and sometimes other supplemental information, like son of Ari, Yosef. These are very, very helpful connections for genealogical research. And without an English translation, the New York Public Library Yisker book database would be almost unusable for me. So this is a very helpful tool that supplements the New York Public Library Yisker book database. It's invaluable for researchers who don't have the primary language knowledge that they might need to use the database.